Hello and welcome. Uh, this is uh, more Dollar Tree pickups, uh, plus uh, my uh, pop-up pack, which is uh, part of horror pack um, shipment. I'm going to start with uh, the horror pack. Ordered uh, a couple titles, uh, well, pop-up pack. Ordered a couple titles. Uh, Got the Lost Boys, the Tribe. Didn't have it, so I figured I would go ahead and get it. I was just trying to find a couple titles. When you order from Pop Up, you uh, really nice artwork on the disc. You uh, order, and they charge. Uh, I believe it was five dollars for shipping. Uh, so I, some of, the, well, I think, two. I think that maybe this this one was also a different price on uh, Hamilton. I think they might have been a little bit cheaper, but what I wanted was most important. Uh, this one here I had looked at. I was kind of curious, and then I saw uh, Movie Edge had picked this up, and uh, we watched this the other night. Uh, this is The Hole. There's a nice uh, slip sleeve on there, kind of chromium look. This was actually a really good movie. We enjoyed this. A uh, bit of horror. Same image. It's a combo. But uh, this is the main reason I even made the order. So I, I wanted to, to get this because Dollar Tree had the second movie already. So I wanted to get the first so I could watch it because supposedly the first one's really good. And that is Wolf Creek. So. Considering Quentin and Robert Rodriguez have both uh, kind of highlighted that, it must be good. Uh, right there was, yeah, same artwork on the disc. But when I got the package and I opened it up, the first thing I see, I'm like, I didn't order this. Did they screw this up? And this is uh, a gift. I mean, all the times I've ordered from pop-up pack, uh, I never got anything extra in the package. Uh, this time they gave me a gift, that, I guess, maybe because I haven't ordered in a while. Uh, this is Arbor Demon. And guess what label it is? It's Gravitas Venture. So this may end up in Dollar Tree at some point. Uh, I peeled the sticker off the plastic and I put it on the case, so kind of like that since they... Uh, and gave that to me. It's got Jake Busey in there. Kind of curious. Might be pretty decent. Uh, now, yesterday, <clears throat> I only went to two Dollar Trees uh, right by my house because uh, one, one, it was downpouring uh, pretty much all day, and uh, I didn't want to be <laughs> gone and hear my wife complaining again. That I'm at Dollar Tree. But when I went to get dinner, I just hit the two real quick. One didn't have any new stuff. And uh, the other one, I found two titles. I picked up. Uh, and this is Border Town Season 1. Uh, fans of Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman will love this series. So, I'm going to give this a shot. And it's on Echo Bridge. See what it's about. It was a uh, double discs. And then this one, <clears throat> I was surprised. See, I'm actually surprised that this is an Echo Bridge title. Uh, the Paperboy with Matthew McConaughey, Zac Efron, David Oyelo, uh, Macy Gray, uh, John Cusack, and Nicole Kidman. I've seen this cover before, and I was like, really? Echo Bridge? So, I was pretty happy to find this. I think this might be pretty good. Um, basically, because yesterday as well, <clears throat> I didn't have time to go out and look for anything because I, actually three of uh, my viewers were sending me pictures of everything that they were finding at different stores. So, I'm hopping between three different people 
on the phone looking at photos trying to hurry up and figure out what I want what I need because they're not gonna hang out there too too long so I do appreciate uh, all three of those guys uh, looking out for me and finding stuff uh, I ran out today uh, I was only gonna hit six stores which technically when I hit those six it would have been uh, three hours I would have been done but then my wife wanted something that was another half an hour away. Uh, if I'm driving out there, I'm going to hit Dollar Trees. So I ended up hitting a total of 14 stores. Um, a lot of the stores that I went to didn't have anything. The first store was 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 really good. Uh, the second store was closed, and that was at 9.30. Because I got to the first store right at 9 when they opened. And then the third store was finally uh oh the second store wasn't open and it was 9 30 so i just left it um i haven't had really any luck at that store anyway i went to the next one and uh found some good uh extras for trading um can't recall if i found anything i don't remember what i found at each store but uh slowly worked my way through and then the one store uh pretty close to the house uh she told me probably friday there'll be a truck but she hadn't gotten anything in yet so i'll be checking back then i'm thinking a lot of the stores are going to probably start getting stuff and doing it for this week since it's supposed to be on friday but i did find uh two blu-rays today that i didn't have but i'd already picked both of them up i think just recently in this haul as well on dvd so now I don't need the DVDs because these are both combo packs. And I found a copy of Distorted with Christina Ricci and John Cusack. So now I don't need the DVD. And the DVD is not bad because it's got at least a slip on it. And Nicolas Cage and the Humanity Bureau, which is also a combo. So I don't need the DVD for that. One thing I noticed on this, though, since it, the Blu-ray is over here, and that's not even Nicolas Cage on the Blu-ray. They only put him on the DVD. Why did you not put the main actor on the Blu-ray? I don't get that one. Then everything else I found today was DVDs or extra. Well, this is a Blu-ray, actually. It's a combo, but it's a DVD case. Uh, it's the only one I found. Uh, not too sure about it. It's a sports thing, which I'm not a big sports fan. Uh, this is the official complete game broadcast. Alabama Crimson Tide. 2018 College Football Playoff National Championship. I haven't seen anybody find this or they just didn't pick it up. I... I only grabbed it because it had a DVD in it. I mean a Blu-ray. Of course, it had a DVD. But uh, I do like the case, and the discs are actually kind of cool. That it's the Blu-ray is trimmed in blue, and the DVD is in black. So I don't know about that. This I was excited to find. I know I have not seen anybody else find this. This includes all 26 episodes of, and this is also from uh, CBS, The Mod Squad, Season 1. This is a very old classic. I, I remember watching this back in the day. This is a really good uh, cop drama type show. So, there's some real rarities out here. Within the hunt. Uh, this one here. This is the very last title I picked up today. I, just so I could grab it. <clears throat> Fortunately it's going to be subtitled for me. But uh, hey I'll give it a shot. Uh, the Man From Nowhere. Said uh, the best cinematic knife fight to hit screens in years. Um, where the sticker was I couldn't see the language. It's in Korean original with English dub. Oh, actually, no, yeah, English dubbed and subtitles. Okay, so it is dubbed. I was thinking it was sub. Uh, yeah, subbed. Yeah, dubbed and subbed. So I can watch this without 
watching it because it said English soundtrack, so I figured it was in English. Then I found this one at one of the stores I hit. Classic television series, Life with Elizabeth, starring Betty White and Del Moore. So, don't mind getting some of this early uh, Betty White stuff. She's uh, a staple to uh, television. Still with us. Uh, this one here looks like it might be pretty good. This is uh, one of the uh, movies that always comes with the two bonuses. Um, there's a two disc set. This is uh, Better Off Zed. It's a great day for a zombie apocalypse. Then the other two titles are Wacko and Sideshow. So it looks like this might be pretty uh, comical. Uh, I'll show you the disc on this because it actually looks pretty good. Uh, the Better Off Zed. But this one looks really creepy for the other two films. Uh, this one, I almost uh, didn't even see this when I was flipping through. It was like the last thing because it was kind of pushed off to the side. A Dark Epic Films, The Comic Kids, A Once in a Lifetime Adventure, A Once in a Forever Encounter. Looks, uh, it might be pretty interesting. All these little teens getting into mischief. Yeah, same artwork on there. Uh, this one I almost passed up when I saw this. Um, this is uh, Hawkeye and the Last of the Mohicans. Uh, the reason I grabbed it was because I see that it had Lon Chaney Jr. Uh, where is it? There we go. Lon Chaney Jr. is in this. So... I had to get this. Doesn't look like it might be that bad. I mean, a good uh, Indian movie. Ten episodes. Uh, same way with this one. This one was something I wasn't going to really get. But once I saw the uh, star title in it, I was like, get it. Uh, it's a Sony Picture Classic. It's uh, I Saw the Light. The story of Hank Williams. So that's interesting enough. But it's Tom Hiddleston. We got Loki playing Hank Williams. I mean, I like Junior more than I do Senior. But uh, I'll definitely want to watch this. This should be uh, quite interesting. Very rare find, I believe. Uh, here I have uh, Chris Christopherson. Uh, uh, disappearances. Some borders are meant to be crossed. Kind of figure this might be interesting. I mean, other than a lot of the Magnet Magnolia titles running around, uh, it seems to be a lot of CBS and EcoBridge. Uh, I have noticed other people grabbing this. I uh, was lucky enough to find this. Like they said, unfortunately, it's not Blu-ray, but hey, I have it to watch. Uh, the Monument Men, with the big uh, all-star cast there. So this should be uh, pretty good. I haven't seen this. Uh, this one I almost turned down, but I figured I would go ahead and w with it. I mean, I already had it's uh, one of those three bonus movie films, so it's actually it's actually got five on here. I don't know why it says three. It's got two on the cover and then three. But okay, so it's two and plus the three. It is Rudyard Kipling's Jungle Book, which I already have on another one like this, but it's seven other films. But the the reason I wanted this is because it has Tarzan, uh, Tarzan's Revenge. Uh, so it has Tarzan's Revenge, Tarzan and the Trappers, Tarzan and the Green Goddess. Tarzan, The Fearless. Uh, I was checking the dates on these. So these are older films. Uh, 1938, 1958, 1933, and 1938 again. Uh, 1942 for The Jungle Book. So, 
I like the old uh, black and white Tarzan. Then I grabbed another uh, one of these. I mean, not another, but I already have this in another form. But I was checking the episodes, and there's like four or five episodes off of this out of 22 that I don't have on my other one. Is uh, Dragnet. So... For a dollar, it's worth having a few extra episodes. Um, not sure which one's going to be the better quality. Two disc sets. They have artwork on one, and the other one's the uh, flipper disc. Uh, haven't seen anyone with this. Uh, this is a complete collection of The Protectors, starring Robert Vaughn. 52 episodes. This is ITV Studios. more uh this late 60s 70s stuff uh 72 73 uh this i found at the first store uh i was happy to find this because I, I had seen somebody else pick this up i mean i know this is a video game but uh i hadn't seen actual animation animation stuff it was uh jojo's bizarre adventure the complete first season so i was happy to finally find uh Something else somebody else has been getting. I can get this on my own. This is a three disc set. I think the discs look pretty nice. Uh, they're basic. Kind of simple. Uh, I found this one looks kind of interesting. Ghost Adventures, the original documentary. The best proof caught on tape. Fox News, the terrifying story that inspired the series. Uh, uh, one of the most terrifying documentaries of all time, Maury Povich, from the Maury Povich show. So, they're raving about this. Uh, kind of curious. Uh, this one I have on Blu-ray, but since I'm trying to collect... Uh, more of the BBC titles. Uh, I don't mind having the DVD as well. Uh, and this came with uh, it was a three disc set. This is uh, copper. So this was just kind of filling out, getting some extra stuff. The last title I also have, but I have on Blu-ray. But I have never seen this cover ever. Uh, and this is a very Harold and Kumar Christmas. I've never seen this cover. So that is the only reason I bought this because this is a completely different cover. The only cover, where is that? Harold, come on. This is the only cover I've ever seen. So this one here is uh, quite different. And the back's basically the same. But uh, I really like that front cover. Um, but yeah, the my package from uh, Pop Up Pack. Uh, I'm gonna post on my Instagram page the routing that they did with this package. Uh, it took way too long. I mean, I know it's not Pop Up's fault. This is the post office. I'm kind of curious why. Are they trying to get my package coronavirus? It went everywhere. So I took uh, screenshots of the times and routes that it was at and the highlighted lining from uh, the shop app. It shows you where it tracked. I mean, it left uh, Georgia, went uh, west to another state, then came to Jacksonville, Florida, then came down to uh lakeland which is about half hour from me then from there it went to davenport which is right down the street from me then from davenport i think it shot back to jacksonville and then from jacksonville it went to tampa which is an hour away from me back to uh lakeland davenport area again before it got it it took way too long for this package to show up 
uh, I don't know if somebody can explain what's wrong with the postal system if they can't keep a package in the right area. I mean, regardless, it still showed up at the same postal area to deliver it. Regardless that it went to Lakeland before it came to me, but uh, the one here shipped it back to Jacksonville to ship it to Tampa to bring it back to the same location and then back to me. That was ridiculous because I kept waiting for that package to show up. But uh, finally showed up. That's the that's the worst thing with uh, ordering from Papa Pack. And I, I don't know. I mean, that was not their fault, but they do not rush shipping anything out. That is one thing I have noticed. That they do seem to take their time about getting it out. It takes like over a week before they ship anything. And then you got to wait another week or two before you actually get it. But uh, I usually don't order from them that much anymore. I did at the beginning. But uh, that was before I found Hamilton book. And uh, not too much. Uh, I should have a package showing up. Tuesday or Wednesday. It says Wednesday, but sometimes I get a little early on uh, regular shipments. Uh, and this is uh, the trade I did uh, with the 40-some titles, so that should be a big haul. And then I know I've got one other movie coming. Uh, and then until I get all these other trades finished off and organized so we can start shipping back and forth, then there'll be some more. Um, I will do some more hunting at uh, Dollar Tree. Uh, I plan on doing it tomorrow after I, I get off work. I'm going to take one more little route, hit a couple little area, and uh, call it a day. And then uh, maybe I'll try again uh, on Friday or Thursday. Just kind of check in and see if anybody's got anything. But uh, that's about that. And uh, once again, thanks to everybody for subscribing, liking, and uh for the uh, three fellows who've been helping me hunt down stuff. And I, I do appreciate it a lot. Uh, and everyone else who is uh, trading, I have picked up a lot of extra stuff. Uh, as soon as I can uh, finish a little bit, I'll, I'll uh, post up uh, all my extras. But I mean, you can always hit me up and ask me what I have extra. If there's something that you wanted particularly, I'll. Uh, if I have it, I'll throw it to the side. Um, uh, let's see. What, um, somebody uh, left uh, a, a message on uh, was it Alf Tanner. Uh, for some reason, I can't reply to it because when I click on it, it doesn't show up in anything I have. So... Uh, if you're trying to contact me, uh, try going through my Instagram because for some reason I can't do anything with that uh, question that you asked. Um, I touch it, I scroll, I look for it, I, I just can't find it. Um, hopefully if you have watched all the way down to here, you'll know that I was asking about it. So uh, thanks.